Hi, I'm Sir Steve, here to show you another Archipelago setup. This time we're going to be doing Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. To get this all set up, you're going to need a few things. First, you're going to need the Archipelago software, which includes the SNI software. For the Archipelago software, you just click on the link here or use the link provided down below. You'll then scroll to the first section that says Archipelago Latest. Make sure it's in this green text. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. And then you'll see the option of set up Archipelago, whatever version number. Make sure you use the green text and not this pre-release. Pre-releases are known to have some bugs and are used for tweaking stuff. Not necessarily a stable version of the game. Next, what you also need is you'll need one of the emulators. For me personally, I use Biggs Hawk. I am personally using 2.9.1. So if you want to follow these steps exactly, that's the, that's the version I would suggest you use. But again, if you prefer one of the other ones, please feel free to go through and follow the steps as it's listed below on the Archipelago setup page. And lastly, what you'll need is a Japanese version 1.0 of Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Fortunately, I cannot provide you one because that will be going against piracy. And Nintendo does not like that idea one bit. So basic steps are first to make sure that you have the Archipelago file installed. You have located where your version, your legal copy of your game is. And then once done, you'll need to open up your emulator and get that all connected. Now, if you have the Archipelago uh, file set up, one trick that you can do in order to get it properly connected is launching it. You'll then be able to select LTTP adjuster. That's linked to the past adjuster. Clicking on that, it'll launch up a nice little folder here. Look at a boo, or a little file here. So the LTT base ROM, you just select that, and then you'll be able to pick out the path for it. Mine's just right there. Makes it nice and simple. Just ROM. You can also do things such as changing the oof sound, the head beeps, the dungeon palettes. These are also some settings that can be changed in the option menu that I'm going to be showing later. So once all the done, all that's done, hit save settings, settings save to persistent storage, you're good to go. For now, I'm going to be able to move that back over here. Next, what you're going to need to do is we're going to scroll down to BizHawk. Now, again, for BizHawk, I'm on 2.9.1. So I'm going to be following these set of instructions. If you're on an earlier version, all you need to do is follow the one above it. So you'll be then able to go into config, preferred cores, SNES, and make sure you have the BSNES selected. I'm going to move it over here so you can properly see. Again, preferred cores, SNES, BSNES. It may be set to false to Azure default or SNES 9X. Again, you need to have this B SNES option selected. Once done, you'll need to also then go into your archipelago files. One quick way is again, going back into here, going into the option of browse files. You'll need, then need to select this SNI folder here. Go into Lua and you're going to have this connector ready to go. We're going to save that for a moment later. Once all that is set up, you'll go into your game options, change everything that you want to change, and then you'll be able to generate a single game. I already have the game set up, so all you need to do now is just download a patch file, click on that patch file. It should automatically then be able to launch the game. Sometimes that pops up just to confirm that adjustments are made. The game is going to be able to launch and it's going to show a lovely little archipelago special screen. And now this is where that Lua file comes into play, as well as needing to make sure that you have the host number. So first, you're going to go into your host option, change the path of it, so seven or five, seven, one, zero, zero for mine. Hit connect. It's going to ask, hey, where is your proper connection? 
you bring over that Lua file that you found earlier. Take this, drop it right in. Pop-up's gonna appear. You should then say connected to SNI from blah, blah, blah. And that'll also show that you are properly connected on that here, that there. And now you'll be able to launch it. Uh, give it the name D. We go to D's house and what do we have in here? Well, isn't that nice? I got a nice little rupee. Save and quit. Just to show that I'm not going crazy. Sanctuary should have another item. I did not click on the sanctuary. What a goober. But yep, from there you should be all connected. Everything should be up and running with no problems whatsoever. Now, for any reason, if you get disconnected, say you accidentally close out this window, all you need to do is again, go through that reconnection process. Should be A-OK. -okay. If you accidentally close out the Lua file window, all you need to do is again, open up where you have those Luas located within your device and just drag and drop it back in. You'll be able to get connected, no problem. With that, I hope you have a fun time playing A Link to the Past with Archipelago. And I hope you have a good day, good night, good whatever the time it is. Feel free to recommend what game I should show you guys how to set up next. For now, bye.